bless you. Today we want to, to read from the book of Isaiah 5, from verse 1. I will sing for the one I love a song about his vineyard. My loved one have a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He dug it up and cleared it of stones and planted it with the choicest vine. My viewer, this morning, it is speaking, the word of God is about a farm. Isaiah here, about this, the song of a vineyard, a song of a vineyard. I will sing for the one I love. Do you have a song for someone that you love? Do I, do I have a song of God whom I love? A God who was there when no one was there for me. A God who has restored my life. A God, I have a song. Do you have a song in your heart? People could have different songs in their minds. Which they sing when they are on, on their own. Which song do you have? But the song here was about a vineyard. My loved one have a vineyard on a fertile hillside. A fertile hillside. He dug it up and cleared it of stones. This farmer was a wise farmer. In this song, the, the, the farmer was wise. He knew very well even if the farm was fertile in a hillside. He knew that he, he needed to collect, to, to collect all the stones who are the, which were there. He knew that before he, he started farming, he needed to do some work. Yes, there's some work to be done before you, put your, you, 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 put, you plant your seed in the farm. His, the duty of, of this farmer in this song was to collect all the stones. After the time when it came to plant, he did just go to plant in the vineyard. The Bible says clearly that he went and, 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 and chose the, 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 the choice, the choice at vine, the, the, the one which is good. The Bible says here he built a watchtower in it and cut wine spread as well. Then he looked for a crop of good grapes, but in it, it yielded only bad fruit. I can see in this song a farmer who was disappointed, a farmer who was completely disappointed after a lot of work which was put down. What the expectation was, was bad crops. Was a bad was a bad crops. He thought that he would get a good grapes because of the work that has been done. There is a lot of work that has been done by Lord Jesus Christ in our lives. But the fruit that we bear is quite a difference. We would say that you are a Christian, I'm a Christian, just of saying. But our fruit of what we see, it is quite different from what it is all about. And this is the question in this song, in verse 3. Now you dwellers in Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more could have been done for my vineyard that, than I have done for it? This is a good question. After you have done everything, and the result that you get is not, is not, is not good results, what can you be able to do? This is a very wonderful song. You might be listening different type of song. But in the book of Isaiah 5, this song of vineyard, it can open your eyes because it has question for, 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 for the listeners to ask themselves. A watchtower. Why did this farmer in this song, he built a, a watchtower? Why was the tower being built? What more could have been done for my vineyard than I have not done for it? You can do everything sometimes. But you wake up wondering what can you be able to do. But in still in this song, in number five, he said, 
Now I will tell you. Now I will tell you. Say what you want to say. Now I will tell you. I can see in this song that the, 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 this farmer was ready to say something about the, the work that he have done in a farm which, which brought nothing. I can see someone who was so desperate, who have tried to put every, everything, but nothing is there. I can see, I can feel, I can sense what you want to say. Many of the people who have stood in court, and they know what they have done, the crimes they have done. They knew the judgment even before the judge read. They know if they are convicted. They didn't know the punishment. They didn't know how long they will serve in jail. And in this song now, the farmer, the, fa the farmer here in this song, he wants to say something. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do with, to, to my vineyard. I will take away its hedge. It will be destroyed. The farmer now is not speaking of anything good about the farm. He is speaking much about destruction. He wants to bring, to, bring, to bring out the hedge of protection. It, it is my prayer that may God remember our life. Because when the hedge of protection is removed, when the hedge is removed, you are gone. You can read this, the story of, of Samson and Delilah. You can know very exactly what it says about the hedge. When Samson tells De De Delilah about the secrecy of his hair, that was the hedge. The hedge of protection when it is, when it is removed. A hundred percent destruction is there. I will take away its hedge and it will be destroyed. I will break down its wall. You can see that the farmer here in this farm, he was so tired, he was so frustrated of all the work which has been put down. And now when it comes to the fruit, it was nothing. Breaking of wall, the wall of protection, when it is being removed, 100% there is destruction. I will make it waste land. This is the opposite word from where we started. And now the farmer it has no interest of this farm. Neither pruned or cultivated. And he said that he let the thorns grow there. What kind of thorns do, do, the, do, do the farmers sp spoke about here? Sometimes when we rebel from the word of God and everything that God have done, in our life some of us we know where we came from, who we were 20 years ago. And when we start forgetting what God have done and we bear no, no fruit, no good fruits, we didn't know the consequences. The vineyard of the Lord Almighty is the house of Israel. And the men of Judah are the garden of his delights. Of his, dis of his delights. And he looked for justice but so bloodshed for righteousness. But he heard cries of distress. The lesson for the song of vineyard show that God chose those nations to be a fruit. That was the motive. All this work which was done in this farm was for, for the farmer to get fruit. When you are doing a business, you can't set a business for nothing. You want to set a business that you know that you'll get an outcome. You can be able to get a, something good from it. So this is the reason why we are so wise. You can't set a business and put a three years old boy to be a shopkeeper. We are very clever. We are very wise on those, on those sides of business. You can't put a business of selling car and put one year old child there with a boy that he's, a, <laughs> he's the one who is <laughs> managing the business. We are more wise than that. 
That is the reason why in all this verse here, there was a time that it reached this farmer to say that he want to say something. If we are so wise that our business need to be managed by, by mature people, if you can't trust, if I can't trust a child to manage my business, why do I expect that this farmer could not make a judgment? This song of vineyard, it has things that can be able to help our life. It didn't bear fruit, but the fruit was bad. I don't see the reason of this farm to bear bad fruits. Because the workload which was put there was too much. There was a lot of things which was done over there. And this is sometimes the, the problem with us, with our lives. God has done a lot in our lives. There are many things. Some of us, we didn't have even a place to sleep. Some were sleeping under the, the tree. Some of us didn't have shoes. But when God is looking to, for us to bear fruits, even just to say thank you, we don't have those, that time of saying just to appreciate God. In this section, God condemns six sin, exploiting others. Drunkness. Confusing moral standards. Preventing justice. There are many things that you can be able to see. There are many things that was done in this farm. And I could see very clearly here. The judgment in this song. The judgment, because there was a judgment. The, the farmer could sit down and make decisions. Yes. What have you been doing? What have you been doing with your life? That is a good thing. That this farmer, in this song, sit down and do, and do some assessment of what has been doing, what he has been doing in that farm. And he found it that it was lost. He found it that it was wasting of time. No one can be able to work in a company where all the money that you are earning from that company, it just go for the bus tickets. It can't work that way anyway. Everyone is looking for a fruit. No one can be able to put all, the, all your energy for nothing. Everyone is looking to get something. I can see in this song that the determination or oh, the expectation of this farmer, he was so disappointed. How many times do we disappoint God? How many times do we disappoint our families? How many times do we disappoint those people who are giving time to help us? How many times, thinking that you have done everything for someone, the same person is your enemy, is your greatest enemy, some of those wounds, I can see in the seat of judgment when, when this farmer was making judgment. My Bible is telling me here, the words, he was to remove the hedge of protection. He was to remove the walls. My viewer, I have a word of God. It is good and it is very good to sit down and to do evaluation, to do evaluation, to do assessment. What have I been doing from January to December? What am I doing? Is it profitable or is unprofitable? Am I wasting my time? All these things, you don't need to go to see the doctor to help you. These are the things that you need to sit down. These are the decisions that you can make. I haven't seen here in this song, anywhere this man was looking a, a doctor. But this man was able to sit down and, 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 and do a good assessment of a farm which have nothing. You can't run a business where every time you are putting your money and nothing is, you are getting nothing. 
All these things can easily help our lives. Which song are you singing? People, there are people who sing songs of problems. Every time is problems. They don't see what God has done in their lives. Because every time their songs, their songs is problems year after year. Which decision have you made? Which decision have you made? The, the word, this word and this song, it's so nice. Because it's, it's, it, is, it has a conclusion. It has a conclusion, and really. It has a decision in it. I will sing for, the, for, for one I love, a song about vineyard. Who do you love? Whom do I love? Thank God, for myself I love the Lord. For I know whatever I do for the Lord is not in vain. You can do many things to people and then they disappoint you. Even some of them, they will never even forget, remember that you have, they have ever met you in their lives. Which song am I singing? Which song are you singing? Why was, was he looking for the choicest vine? I can see a wise man. When you go to the market to buy something, you, just, you don't just buy anything that your eyes see. You want to buy something which is good. When you are buying a clothes, you don't go to buy a clothes of one euro. You are looking at a clothes which is a little bit expensive that it can last long. 